My name is Sebastian Tarek and I'm one of the footwear tutors here at Capel Manor College. The Capel Manor College footwear course is designed very much to be uh, an actual shoemaking course as uh, separate from a lot of other schools. So here we try and focus on hand skills and working with various uh, types of footwear and footwear constructions that exist across the footwear trade. I'm a freelance bespoke shoemaker. I've worked uh, for servicing some of the West End bespoke shoemaking firms that have been around for 100 odd years, as well as having a small business under my own name. I've worked in different types of shoemaking and Capel Manor College offers a course which really seems to be missing within the development process available to people who want to get a start in footwear. I know how hard it is to try and find opportunities and find the correct pathway, particularly if what you're interested in is the hand skills, actually learning how to make shoes rather than the design or the marketing or sort of those sorts of aspects of footwear. So the opportunity to come to a school which has got its heart set on really trying to help people learn how to make shoes is really appealing for me. The intention is always to use good quality materials. We're very uh, fortunate that we've had some fantastic bestowments of really high-end products. So we're always working with leather unless there's a specific reason not to use leather. It's a very beginning to end course. So you would come here, we'd go through the pattern making process on a last, which is the three-dimensional shape that shoes are made on. We then cut out items out, the students will stitch their upper together, and then we go through some of the different techniques that can be used to last a shoe over before attaching a sole and heel, slipping the last out and having a finished shoe. So I'm actually from an incredibly long line of shoemakers. My great-great-grandfather, I think, was the last of somewhere between 16 and 18 generations of shoemakers in Poland. So it's very much in the blood. But I didn't realize that until I'd started studying shoemaking. I had absolutely no idea. So my own interest in, in footwear probably came more from my mother and my father, who both worked in the fashion magazine industry. My mum particularly had a real fondness for sort of like innovative designers. So I was really curious about how things were made and, and, and how you kind of put things together. So when I started my shoemaking studies and found out that I was from this long line of, of shoemakers, the story kind of like all came together and all made a bit of sense really. I make my own shoes, uh, sometimes embarrassed to say it, but yes I do. Uh, I think it's really important for someone that makes shoes to take the opportunity available to them to have the most responsive client, which in this case is myself. So yeah, I don't think I've bought a pair of shoes in about 20 years actually. So I'm a classic West End bespoke style shoemaker in a lot of ways. Um, I, I cut my teeth servicing some of those old firms and I still work as, a, as an outworker for some of them. So I like to think of myself as very classically London West End, but my own aesthetic is quite different and I try and make something which is a bit more unique, a little bit uh, unconventional while still being fairly classic. The creative skills required to be a shoemaker, that's quite tricky because the answer I would give was actually uh, a passion for footwear and a willingness to really put in hard work and neither of those are necessarily creative skills. But from a creative point of view, I think an eye for detail. I think it's quite important that you can spot the difference in, in one thing uh, versus another, if you like, uh, and, and I think a preparedness to keep working on something until it looks the way that you know that it should. After finishing a course here at Capel Manor College, I mean, it's corny to say, but the world really is your oyster. Uh, the opportunity for someone to employ someone that's actually done a course in shoemaking where they've learnt skills rather than learning theory necessarily is, is fantastic. So you could go on to further education where you could specialize into more specific aspects of the shoemaking process. You could go into maybe more of the aesthetic based things with a really strong understanding of what's involved in making shoes before you go into the, the practice of designing shoes. The development of the Capel Manor footwear course uh, is such a boon for the footwear industry. I've been working in the UK in shoes for probably nearly 20 years now and I'd say for the entire time that I've been here uh, a pathway which is really specifically designed for people that want to become shoemakers has been sorely missing. So the fact that there's a course where you can come and sit down and specialise in learning how to make shoes as a pathway to getting an opportunity 
in the footwear industry is, is incredible and I really wish that I'd had the opportunity myself coming over here from Australia trying to get people to take seriously that I had some understanding of shoemaking was really really difficult and the fact that Capel Manor College has produced a, a qualified certified course that facilitates that I think is a fantastic benefit for the whole footwear industry in this country.